Hey folks, welcome to this React course. In this first part, we'll cover how to scaffold your first React uh, project using Snowpack. We'll also look at how to create our first component and get some data into that component that you can display. Next, we'll look at how to scaffold our first uh, project using Snowpack. At this point, we won't have the React bits, but we will add those gradually. Now, first off, you want to run this command this will scaffold the first project as I just mentioned and all we need to do is just wait for it to finish. Note here how we got some commands npm install, npm start and so on, npm test. Various parts uh, that or various commands that we're going to use as part of our project. Next let's go into our uh, project. We can do that and we can hit code minus r dot this is a nice thing i'd like to do just to restart my vs code environment so i can see it from my project now uh, we see how our project has been restarted and we see the various scaffolded files that uh, snowpack has given us and that's everything from an, an index.html file index.js file and so on so index css great that's great for our project HTML, we will go in here as part of the React project. Index.js, this is just a simple console log at this point. We will add some React code in there, I promise. And then we have the package JSON with start, with build, and with test. Various commands that we should be using, that we should flesh out as we progress with our project. We also see how we have a dev dependency with Snowpack. So Snowpack will only be used as we build our app. It won't be used to ship our app. Next up, let's install the bits that are typically about React. That is the React and the React DOM libraries. Note how React and React DOM are added as dependencies in package.json, meaning that we will need those to ship our app. Next, let's rename index.js into index.js. Next up, we will need the React starter code. So we import firstly uh, React from the React NPM library. Then we import React DOM. Once we have React and React DOM, we will call on upon React DOM to render our app. For now, that's a div, that's not a React component. We will change that shortly. And it also targets on line six here, a root element. We don't have that element, so that's up next, but we will add it as part of our HTML file just above the script tag here, as I indicated. Next, let's add our element. We add the root element. We will be replacing this root element with our React code, but now it has an entry point into the application. At this point, we have a working React application, so let's create that first component next. So what we're going to do is to create a const app and give it a arrow function. Uh, we want this arrow function to return JSX, so it's going to look like we're returning HTML. Uh, we want to put some a string inside of the div in this case. So let's let's do that next. We're going to say hello from app. That's great. So now we have uh, definition-wise a React component. We want to export it as well. So export default app. One piece missing and that's the import. The import piece here is very important because without it React won't see this uh, function on, on line 2 or line 3 in this case as a React component. So don't forget about the import React. This is what makes it a component that React can readily use, or readily use wherever it needs to. Now we will use our app component. To use it we need to place ourselves and import the app. So app from dot slash and now we point out the uh, app component so we've imported it and that's great now let's replace the div that we had here and render our app component instead so let's type in app like so and now we are saving this up and we are ready to see what this looks like uh, in our browser note how we now can say hello from app and especially this part here hello from app show one more thing as part of this video and that is to give some input data into our app component it's important to show how the data flows into the component so here we are using a data a property we are creating and on this side we are adding props and uh, props is a uh, object that you, you can always refer to 
Uh, let's see how this works. App data equals high. Uh, with the curly braces, uh, high is a string. Now we're passing that string into app data. And then on the app component side of things, we can refer to props, but we must refer to it as props data. So we need to go back into our component and fix the little error that we introduced. So let's go back and say props dot data. That is how we refer to the data that is coming in. And now we can save this and see what it looks like inside of the browser. Here we see how high is introduced if from the app component via the input property. Just some quick repetition. What we did app data equals high. Inside of our app component, we talk to props data to make sure that we can render whatever comes from the outside and make that part of the template that we render and this is what the browser sees. So props data will be uh, interpolated and it will be replaced with its value, in this case the string high. That was it for this video folks, but remember today you learned about Snowpack to scaffold your React project, you learned how to create your first React component, uh, you also finally learned how you could introduce some kind of data and send that into the component so the component is able to render it. If you like this kind of video, please uh, consider subscribing. Uh, I will make more videos like it, I promise.